Welcome back. We're still on the weight loss journey. And there's the mold. Where's the LS Jeep off to, bags? We got four driving, mate. want to see this a bit more yell out let us know in the comments and we'll get it out and smash it around the beach what do you reckon Bex? what's the story for paintbrush mate yeah just an ear bud don't put it in the ear definitely not especially after it's been used oh you'd never know i reckon dan needs to play around with the rear end move all that wishbone around so we can Get it sitting down another two inches so just the bits i cut off the tow bar two pound then bits we put in so the sound deadening and the shit out of the door is 49 pound oh mr zachary what have we got mate what's going on what have we got here oh we've got some racing oil what else have we got? Oh, we've got some transmission fluid. It's our lucky day, Zachary. All the rubber under the guards and the two spring hanger things the, for the old um, springs. That's five pound. So that's good. Another five pound off. Other miscellaneous shit. Twelve pound. Off that, one. that part of the exhaust is six kilo. That's just sitting on there. That's a gel coat color. That's pretty close to the body color. Weighs eight kilo. So the new bonnet complete is 39 pound. Ah, oh, sorry. The old bonnet was 39 pound, wasn't it? Yeah. And our new one is saying 22. That's all on, no paint. That is purely the gel coat, so that's why it's a little bit rough looking. You could probably buff it up, but we'll probably just get it painted, I'd say. Sometimes it's all about improvising. Finally time to plumb up this fire system. So Donny the pipe bender man's gonna do the bends and we'll get these nozzles, a couple in the engine bay and one in the cabin, so. In case of a fire, which we hope does not happen, Dan just has to pull um, that little red lever down there and hopefully the fire will be gone. So we've got the fire system finally plumbed up. So we've got a nozzle there that sprays out everywhere. The other one goes through into the engine bay, through the firewall and out that nozzle and that nozzle there, so probably worth its weight in gold, really. So after a couple of big weeks, we've um, we've checked the head gasket, which was all looking pretty good. If you haven't seen that video, go and check out the one we've done just before this one. Um, we've shed 200 pound, which is pretty cool. So we'll see if that makes a difference at the track, which I think it will. Uh, what else have we done? Fiberglass bonnet we made, so that's all on. That's just in a gel coat finish. That's why the colour's a bit off, but it looks pretty good for something out of a mould, so thanks to Kapalki Kit Cars for that. Oh, surprise, surprise, surprise. We're back off to 101 this morning to go and check out this tune. Now that we should have um, pretty solid fuel pressure, I'd say, with three of the Woolbro 525s we've got in it. Um, last meeting we were dropping off, we got as low as 57 PSI with 45 pounds of boost. So fuel pressure, theoretically, there's only 12 PSI sort of sitting there. Um, so we've got to go and check that out. The tune will probably change a bit and see if it all plays the game. Oh, once again, old Roberto and Ronnie at Nationwide are getting the car up to 101 for our Saves Me organising a trailer. Thank you, boys. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what's, wait what's better than 45 pound? 50. Uh, 60. Oh, 60. <laughs> So 
So that goes to show now we've got 87 pound fuel pressure and it should be 87 pound. We're not dropping off to 50. And what's happening now is just exactly the same tune in it and we're just going really rich. So that's a good sign. that was a quick success so that's good we um, have the expected fuel pressure doing what it should be doing um, air fuel ratios are good we've got plenty of fuel left in the kitty now the fuel map looks a lot better the table so I think we've solved probably a little underlying issue we might have had the whole time but then dash six lines mate you've definitely got to have dash six lines if you've only got a thousand horsepower but changing the dash eight if you make 1100 a bit of a exhaust pipe out the side so we don't spray shit all over the track and it'll be looking a million bucks again oh that was a success for Brado. what do you reckon cold beer cold beer yeah, that's the answer that's the story break it down